Hello, my name is Regan, and I am a software engineer on the Amazon SageMaker Data Wrangler team. Data Wrangler is a feature inside of SageMaker Studio that allows you to prepare and visualize your data. You can import data from various sources, and we are excited to announce a new data source that is now available, Snowflake. In this video, I will share how to import data from Snowflake and apply some of the built-in transformations that Data Wrangler has to offer. I am inside of SageMaker Studio, and I'm going to open a new data flow by selecting this card. You'll see that I have an Amazon S3 data source and an Amazon Athena data source, but I do not yet have a Snowflake data source. So I'm going to come over to this button, select Snowflake to add a data source. I can add a data source by either providing my account name, username, and password, or by providing a secrets manager ARN that contains the, the account name, username, and password. I'm going to use the basic username and password method today. The connection name is just any name that you want to give your connection to be able to identify it later. Once you select connect, you'll be redirected to the data selection screen. On the left side, you'll be able to browse through all of your databases, schemas, and tables. You can preview your tables by selecting on the eye icon next to one of the tables. You'll see the schema on the left hand side and the table preview on the main section. I can also query the data in the table, and I can use this icon here to put the table name inside of the query box. When I select the Run button, I will be able to see the query results in the Query Results tab. I can then import the data and give the data set a name. Once I click Add, I will be taken to the data flow view, where you'll be able to see the imported data set. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some transformations to the data. I'll start off by encoding some, uh, I will start off by encoding a column um, that is a categorical type. So the cancellation code is currently uh, string. You'll see here it's a string and we are going to encode it to numbers. So I'm going to select the column here, preview it, and you'll see that the values have been encoded and we can go ahead and add that transformation. I also noticed that the actual elapsed time has some missing values whenever the flight was canceled. So I'm gonna handle these missing values by filling them, selecting the actual elapsed time column, and I will fill them with zero since they are canceled. I'll preview these changes, see that they were filled properly and add the changes. Now I can go back to the data flow and I'll be able to see the transformations that I just added. So that was a quick overview of how to add data from your Snowflake account to Data Wrangler and apply some transformations inside of Data Wrangler. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks so much for watching.